right guys welcome today we're gonna make some rosemary russet potatoes so you need some red potatoes russets not as good for this but use what you got uh, strongly recommend red potatoes got some black pepper coarse sea salt any kind of coarse salts good regular salts fine if that's what you got some olive oil rosemary fresh rosemary definitely better but smooth out of that so this is what we're using and uh, you're gonna need a baking dish so uh, let's get these taters scrubbed and cut up all right so potatoes are all washed time to cut up these bad boys so we're just gonna quarter most of these because they're that that size you can cut them down even further like I think I like that about that size nice little size there just cut up your potatoes the thicker they are the longer it'll take for them to cook so whatever you gotta do cut these up and uh, then you're gonna throw them in the pan all right so potatoes are all cut up but that like that only had a couple bad pieces you know whatever left the peel on because these are delicious with the peel on it and peeling tiny potatoes like that is not fun so now we need to just get it into our baking dish here all right time to get this all dressed up listening to some Iron Maiden while we do it old school today all right so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna give it a little salt about that much cracked pepper I like a coarse grind on this but uh, you know you do you I like lots of pepper it's awesome can't have too black too much black pepper I say can't have too much rosemary I say my wife says different but you know whatever we'll just get some nice rosemary in here if you're using fresh rosemary it's definitely gonna be uh, a bit stronger so be careful but uh, you yeah, want that flavor to come out yeah, that's probably good so next is there olive oil? We'll be generous with it. Let's go back and forth. Nice. We'll just give this a little toss in the pan here. And it'll be ready to pop in the oven. Just want to make sure all the potatoes, all sides get coated uh, with the olive oil. The seasoning will take care of itself. So we're going to pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes to start. We will check them out, see how they are uh, after that. So I'm cooking these at about 325. Normally I'd cook them at a little bit higher temperature, maybe 400 or so, but I got a ham in the oven right now, so in there with the potatoes. So we're gonna do 325. It may add some cooking time, but uh, we will see. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. It's time to check on these taters. Okay, smelling good. We just push through with a knife to see how done they are. They are definitely soft, so now all we need is for them to brown up a little bit. Ideally you would raise the temperature a little higher, you might do that, or even stick them underneath the broiler, which I might just do that. It's got a ham in the oven, it needs to come out, but uh, yeah, we're just going to make sure everything's recoated and good and stuff stirred up. Listening to Flood of Icarus by Iron Maiden right now. 
going old school today pretty awesome so let's get this back in the oven for another uh, five ten minutes and we'll check them again all right toes are probably done let's give them a check let's see how they look oh yeah that looks good that looks real good okay so we did another about 10 minutes or so on these potatoes and uh, they are done nice and crispy yet soft on the inside they are all good man perfect to go with ham or whatever you're wanting to cook good with chicken beef whatever potatoes are always good anyway that's it Ruck on and uh, go Cougars.